Look at this. This is a rear view mirror. Very normal. When you flick this, it actually switches to a rear view camera that is mounted on the shark fin at the back. So you have, in a flick of the switch, Look how fast that goes, that is so cool. This is the new Defender. Check this out, with this button, I'm gonna raise the car. Go have a look. And now you can get through a depth of almost one meter. It shows you in real time, that is so cool. You actually have a 360 view of this car. That is super, super cool. All right, now look at this. You've got a cool box in here. You can chuck your bevies in here and go camping. And I've never seen this before in a car. You have a thousand charging ports. You have a wireless charger here for your phone. You have one here. You have two USB here. You have another USB here. And what is cool is all of these surfaces are rubber surfaces. So if you stick your phone on here, for example, it's not gonna slip and slide all around. It just sticks, which is a really, really nice little feature. Nothing's gonna move around because this car is made for off-roading. That's your key there. All of this is open here, which is quite nice. You've got a lot of storage space here and also through the back here of this console. You've also got all of these really like sturdy handles, places to hold on, all of this. And you've got this nice functional design feature, all of these screws here. Look at this. This looks like normal buttons, right? But when you click this, it actually changes the display. It's digital, which it doesn't look like, but I think that is a really cool little feature. This button will open up a massive sunroof, which is really nice. So you can see what's happening around you everywhere. And, all right, come around. Look at this. When you open the door, it's actually got a blind spot alert right here. So if you've got a cyclist coming down and you're opening the door, it will warn you that you haven't seen the cyclist. That's pretty cool. You have what I call giraffe windows. So look at this. You've actually got windows on the top of the car. So when you go on safari, you can actually see the giraffes all the way from the side through to their heads out here. And I just, I really like that feature. I think that's super cool. And then, surprise, guess what you have? More charging ports, USB, you got two more here. <laughs> They're everywhere. And then a little window. You open this window and you've got a little USB port there as well, on this side as well. So, you got this rear mounted tire here. And then look, more places to charge and this is a full 230 volt um, port which basically means you can plug in whatever you want so you can have a massive like fridge full of bevies for your camping trip or whatever hair dryer doesn't matter plug it in there you've also got one here I mean honestly that just it all it just never ends and then from the back here you can lower the car with this button and the last thing before I take it out for a drive with this button here, the all-important tow hook. There you go. And I've never had to say this before on this channel. The towing capacity is 3,720 kilograms. There you go. All right. There we have it. Let's take her out. These tail lights are cool, aren't they? All four. They all light up at once for braking. What's interesting is the gear lever is actually mounted up here on the dash and not down here because this space here can actually be a third seat. So you can have someone sit in the middle, which is quite a defender thing. You can choose between three different defenders. You can get a defender, it's called defender, with two doors, or you can get the first edition, which is this with four doors, or you can get the Defender X with four doors as well. And you can get petrol or diesel. Um, if you get a petrol, you can choose between a four cylinder and a six cylinder and 300 horsepower or 400 horsepower. 
I'm driving the 400 horsepower version right now and it actually feels very smooth and I've got a lot of space you guys a lot of space all right who's ready to go off-roading in the middle of the city <laughs>